Yo, yo, this is Casey. I'm back with another video, too, man. In this video, I'll be talking about some other stuff, you know, pertaining about Jesus, too. And I'm going to make stuff clear, you know, because, and this, you can't, you can't blame someone like me for sticking up for Jesus. You can't. You know, if I want to stick up for God, I, I, I'm going to say this. If I want to stick up for God, if I want to stick up for the truth, and people negative about it, that's their fault. You know, Jesus spoke truth, and people were negative about it. You can't blame Jesus to because he chose his mindset to be of God. If you choose a mindset to be of God, your mindset to be of God, it's not your fault, you know, that people are out to get you. You know, if people out to get Jesus, man, like they were, you know, people were out to get Jesus, man. People wanted to see Jesus fall. People wanted to see Jesus crumble. That's why they murdered Jesus, because Jesus couldn't fall. Jesus was smart, man. They couldn't make Jesus look dumb, so they had to murder him to make him look dumb. Ain't that some crazy stuff? And that's the same shit that can happen to you in real life. People can murder you for being smart, because, oh, you have a smart outlook on life. You look at life so so intelligent and different and unique and smart is unique you know because th there's not a lot of people not 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 everyone can be smart that's 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 the way it is you know that's the way it is unless you choose to follow god and really work your way into god you're not going to be smart like that you know intelligence come from god you know you can't be intelligent without going to without without going through god first you know you got to get that shit from the holy spirit and the Holy Ghost. But some things I noticed is that, you know, Jesus had good thoughts, you know, negative results. And the false doctrine is that Jesus would have negative thoughts. And that's why he had negative results. Not necessarily, like, not necessarily. That's not true. That's not true at all. Because you got to look at Jesus. Jesus is a perfect example of how how people, you know, should be walking in their life. You know, how, how they should be using their mind and, and doing stuff with their mind. And Jesus was murdered, you know. So, that's crazy to, to think like that. And you can't just, you know, look at ways, look at things like that. And, 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 and. and and blame people like me for following God. You can't. So, that's what I said, you know. I can blame others, you know, because they murdered Jesus, and that's a fact, you know. There's nothing wrong with blaming other people for, for issues because that's correcting people. How are you going to get shit done in life if you, if you, that's like a business. A business got to do business in order to, in order to get the business done. Same thing with me. I'm, ch I'm I'm doing business, man. I'm out here saying, hey, you know, I'm blaming others. I'm getting on people's heads, you know, and, and y'all just don't like to be, you know, judged because I'm judging righteous judgment. And that's the thing. I'm right. I'm right. That's the point of being righteous with judgment is that you're right. And th they're wrong. You, you, you point out their wrongs. You point out society's wrongs and failures. They're going to want to send you to a mental home because... You point out they wrongs. You point out the world. You point out society. And you, you look at how, how crazy society is, how it's structured. Now they're going to want to send you to a mental home because your ass, literally, your, your family going to want to turn on you, et cetera, et cetera, because that's what comes with following God. You know, you know, a lot of situations could outcome like that, you know, to where they, they could be some snakes try try mind manipulating shit to, 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 to put blame on you, you know, to try to be mind manipulative, to be man, man, manipulative and, and, and so on. That's, that's how they get shit done because they, they trying to, you know, that's why you don't want to make a mistake, man. That's why you don't want to make a mistake because they're going to use that one mistake and, and, and push, push on that mistake when, when it has nothing to do with that mistake. It's, it's all about the now what's going on now you know that's why I like because for me I made a mistake back then to where like I walked into someone's house because of, uh, I was hearing into the demonic realm I was hearing into the spirit world and now they wanted to say I was schizophrenic and they wanted to say that shit you know and, and keep that shit pinned on me and, and jail me up in that shit 
that's what I'm saying. They, they wanted to jam me up in that shit because I'm out here, you know, and you got to be careful. You got to be careful because people going to try setting you up and trying to get you a lifelong drugged up or some shit on medication because, you know, you could be speaking about, you know, you could, you could be doing something else and they're going to pin that shit on you and say that it connects like that when it doesn't actually connect like that. So you got to be really watchful and, and village or whatever when it comes to like people like that because people are going to be crazy like that. People are going to want to see you fail. They're going to try pinning any, anything on you when, when it doesn't matter if it's your past. It doesn't matter if, 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 if it was, you know, and me, I was hearing to the demonic realm. I was hearing voices. Yeah, you know, at one point I was hearing voices. I was hearing to the demonic realm. And and that's that's how I was studying that shit too because the demonic realm be, be kind of crazy with how with how you know they 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 they, they um they 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 control it in, in the spirit world. But yeah, you know, I remember doing that um when I was little, when I was really young. young. But that's what I said. You can't make a mistake because once you make a mistake, they witches. You understand these community people be witches. They gonna want to see you fail because they witches. So you gotta be careful about that too. And you gotta be really careful about that. So you can't you can't blame me just because I stand up for Jesus, just because I stand up for God, just because I do the will of God or whatever. I, I stick up for God and, and blame me and be like, oh, well, you walked into someone's house or whatever, and you schizophrenic because you, 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 la, 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 you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that because it has nothing to do with that. Speaking truth for God is something totally different. Yeah, one little thing, that's enigma, that's stigma, that's stereotyping. Yeah, one little thing of God connects to that because there's truth to God that connects to that. But that's a stigma. That's a stereotype. That's deceit. That's a lie. Stigma and stereotyping. There's a lie. It's a lie. So you can't just use that situation and put deceit around and try to deceive me. Because that's how to deceive me. And that's what I was thinking, man, too. Is that, you know, with that situation... You got to be careful, you know, you can't, you can't make mistakes. You got to be careful. Even, even if you hear in the demonic realm like that, you kind of can't really do nothing crazy like that. You got to, you got to just take it in and don't listen to demonic spirits. Just, just be smart. And you can't, you can't tell everyone about the demonic realm because they are, are about the spirit world or about God. You can't tell everybody about God, how, how God operates because they're going to try to, you know, set you up. You can't speak truth for God because they're going to try to set you up. They're going to want you looking like Jesus. They're going to want you sent to a mental home because you follow Jesus. Because you follow God. And you have knowledge. And they can't understand it. So they're going to be like, oh, well, you schizophrenic because, oh, we, we don't understand you because you're just speaking mad truth. That's how, that's how they get down. You speak mad truth. You speak mad truth about God. They're going to be like, oh, well, we can't understand this. So let's just label this dude schizophrenic. And he already made a mistake that that would make us think that he's schizophrenic. So let's add on a pile of deceit and, and, and try to deceive everybody and in his community and everything and try to destroy his image. And that's that's how they get down. They don't care. They don't care because you got to understand these, these these psychiatrists, man, <laughs> they, they, they want to be punished because that turns the girls on. The, the, I, I'll be real bad. I gotta be real, man. The reason why they want to be punishers is because that's what get the girls turned on. That's what get the girls wet. That's what get the girls horny. Is because it's because they punishers. If you a doctor and you labeling someone schizophrenic, you punishing them. You punishing them because because it's a punishment. It's a punishment. You you like oh well, well I'm 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 doing this to drug them up. I'm doing this to la la la. That's a turn on. That is a turn on. That's a punishment. When you punish someone, you gotta understand. Punishment is a turn on. Being punished is a turn on. So the fact that these motherfuckers 
want to punish you, it, it has to do with sex. It, it connects to sex and the, and the desire of sex. <laughs> it, it connects to that shit. So they over here to the side, <laughs> probably sleeping with some woman or, or the girl sleeping with some dude, <laughs> punishing them in the bed <laughs> because that's the turn on is being a punisher. And that's what you get when when you get that job role. It's bigger than oh you you actually you you get a lot of money. Oh my god, you get a lot of money. You're set and you the punisher. So you're in a good situation in life because you, you get the punish. So I like to say that that's why you gotta watch out when you really think different and when you're smart. You gotta watch out and not make a mistake like like I did because they're gonna try to set you up and, and you know and when you and that's why I gotta say to y'all people is when you learning about the spirit world y'all gotta be careful y'all gotta be careful when when y'all learn about all that deep stuff you know they're gonna try to you know they're gonna try to set you up do whatever trust me that's what people want they don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you winning in life. They don't want to see you looking smart. They want to look down on you and disrespect you. And that's what people want. People don't want to give you respect. People don't want to give you credit for being a smart one. People don't want to give you... Pay. People don't want to pay their dues. People don't want to. They just want to lie, 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 lie and be deceived. And that's, that's their brain. That's their mindset is being deceived by the devil. Just like Jesus. You got to understand. Jesus believed in what? Jesus believed in God. He believed in the Holy Ghost. Yep. And the people around him didn't want to believe in the Holy Ghost. They didn't want to believe in the Holy Spirit. They didn't want to believe in God. And they got exiled out of heaven for that shit, right? Because by you going against Jesus, your ass is going to get exiled out of heaven. How are you going to make it to heaven when you didn't when, when you didn't want to believe in God and you, and you straight murdered Jesus? You don't deserve that shit. You don't deserve to make it to heaven. You don't deserve that shit. And that's what comes to following with God is people going to, you know, you got to understand, you know, people going to be deceived. Your your own family going to be deceived. Your own family going to try to betray you and, and be used by and, and cut those you and be used by Satan because they deceived already. They are they already deceived by the devil. They don't have the knowledge and revelation you have from God. And they're not going to believe in it because they'd rather believe in a doctor than believe in you. If your ass is speaking truth for God, they'd rather believe in enigmas, believe in stigmas about you. That made no sense. Like I said, you know, you can't just bring up that one situation and stigmatize it. No, you can't stigmatize that situation. You can't. You can't. And that's that's how people get down is they don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see you winning in life and prospering. And that's one way people want to try to, you know, crucify you in life. And, and just like they did Jesus. And you've seen what happened to, to Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Jesus, wh wh whoever other people out there that was murdered and, and slain for speaking truth or whatever. Whatever they were doing for God, whatever. You know, people get murdered for stick, taking a stand for God. You know, people got murdered in, in the Bible for that shit because... They're, they're, they're attacked and persecuted because they follow God, and I think I think Paul actually there was there was a dude in, in the Bible called Paul. I think he actually murdered God's people, and he, and he ended up changing. And that, that's some crazy stuff. That that that's crazy. That that's crazy that I have to mention that too. I I, I feel like that's kind of crazy that God be working like that. But yeah, you know, I think he wrote the most books in the in the New Testament, some shit. Some shit like that, but he still murdered like a bunch of God people and, and persecuted them or some shit. And Jesus was like, "Why are you persecuting my people?" Or, or was it God doing that? I don't, I don't know. Something like that. But, but yeah, you know, it shouldn't have to take all these supernatural situations for people to wake up, man, and 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 and, and just be more loving. It shouldn't have to be like that for for people to be loving and care and ask to give you respect. It shouldn't have to be like that. But when people be used by Satan for so long, man, in their life, damn, they, that's what I'm saying, man. They trying to, 
they really trying to, you know, put put some blood on their hands like that. And that's what I'm saying, you know. Um, so yeah, with that being said, man, I I don't know, man. People kind of crazy like that, you know. They they don't want to follow God, man. They want nothing to do with do with God. Which you know me, I, I I'm honest about this shit. Like I don't want nothing to do with God, but I still I I just get the facts. You know, it's one thing when you don't want something, but it's it's another thing when you just set set the facts. Like if you don't want God, that that's cool. You know that's that's not wrong. What's what's wrong is they just not accepting the facts. You know that's that's the issue. You know me, I don't want God. To be honest, man, I want nothing to do with God, but I still just accept the facts. And that that's the difference with me. Is I accept the facts. I, I accept God because I accept truth. Truth is facts. That's what following God is. You know, you just gotta accept the truth. You know. But people don't want to be real motherfuckers like that. People don't want to be real niggas like that. People would rather be some fake and phony weirdos and creeps. That that's what I'm saying. So, so that's that's what kind of get people looking crazy down here too. Is that. By them refusing God, they they refusing themselves, man. They refusing change. They refusing. They refusing. They're running from themselves. They running by running from God. They are running from the truth. And that's the point of it is, you know, you know, a doctor could st- do you straight dirty, label you such and such. That you could be a kid, kid. You you don't you're not really good at school. They could label you. ADHD or label you this and that, this and that because because you don't because you don't fit in with school because you think different. You 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 have a smarter mind than school or you you just want to be different and 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 you you are unique and stump for God or some shit. You follow God and they want to they want to label you some crazy stuff because you out here want to believe in God instead of believe in school shit, you know, you rather have a system of God instead of a system of the devil, you know, rule this earth, and people may not see what you see, and that's why they cause controversy, that's why they cause issues, is because they refuse to see what you see, and that's always going to cause controversy, that's always going to cause some issue, because they refuse to see what you see, and and you, you gotta just move on. You you gotta just move on. And some people they 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 in situations to where they have to rely on people like that, like family members. They they get support from their family members, and their family members persecute them. And they in a fuck situation to where, you know, the the systems already failed them, and now they can't really do much because they they being persecuted by their family members and. And that's that's the support system, and it's not healthy to be in a situation like that. And we need more support and people like like imagine if there's a rich follower of God out there, man. The rich follower of God is gonna get us away from that situation because they actually care. The the, the one who cares and loves us will, will, will get us away from that situation and and and, and, and want to see us successful and want to see us making moves for God and. If there was a rich person of God out there, man, that shit would be a blessing. But you don't see people out there like that. You don't see rich followers of God. You don't see people, you know, actually down like that, you know. And that's that's the issue we have in this world is that people would rather be more evil than that. And you got to understand, you know, people would rather be more evil than do good because evil, you got to understand, Good is evil too. You gotta understand. God is the most evil. God created everything. So shouldn't people be turned on about God then? Shouldn't all these women be turned on about God and not the devil? But no, the reason why people be so evil is because it it it, it, it gets girls it it's sexy. Being evil is sexy. But isn't God more evil? Didn't, didn't the devil copycat evilness from God? Didn't the devil take that from God? And, and, and try to become God by copycatting evilness because God was evil. God, God's the one that created the devil. God's the one that created everything. God is the evil one. But people don't understand that because 
yet they don't have the knowledge to to understand stuff like this and they're not willing to submit to the truth and submit to God. They'd rather submit to the devil than submit to God. And that's the point is because it's hard. It's hard to follow God. When, when you mentally curse and when you have the amount of spirits controlling your brain to where you don't have the knowledge of God or you just don't accept the knowledge of God, that's demonic spirits controlling your brain because you can't accept the knowledge of God. You know, maybe you may not have the knowledge of God, but you could still accept it, you know. But the reason why people don't accept it is because they they have demonic spirits in their brain. Whether it's because they smoke weed, they smoke, they drink, they smoke cigarettes, whatever they do that, that cause demonic spirits in their brain, you know, it causes demonic spirits to, to get them to disbelieve in God. So that's what it does, you know. It gets them to believe in the devil. And, 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 and when you believe in the devil, that's when you become demonized, you know. That's, that's how these people are so demonized on this earth is because... They still don't believe in God, you know. They, they they demonize because by you by you not accepting the truth, you have you have got to be demonized. Like that's that's a demon controlling over their life. And the truth, you know, the truth shall set you free, right? So the fact that you rejecting the truth, that's blasphemy. That's like blasphemy of the Holy Ghost or some shit. By you rejecting the truth, like you demonize like that much. You telling me you demonize that much that you can't accept the truth. It's like you blasphemy. Now, I don't know if that's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, but that's still blasphemy. And that's the Holy Ghost. It, you, you actually blasphemy against the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, too. It comes as the spirit of truth. The Holy Ghost comes as the spirit of truth and you're going against the truth. So it's kind of like whether the words, I, I don't understand maybe if the words are kind of, the communication issue is a little, is a little weird because the communication, the words don't really make sense at times, and there could be disagreements on that, but if it's, if it comes down to like the full honest truth, and you just reject it, like something has got to be wrong with you, like you, that, that, that's like blasphemy against Holy Ghost, but, and you can't be forgiven for that sin, so, that's what I'm saying. So, it's just like a lot of issues, man. I'll be seeing, man, and people can't get shit done. You know, this truth that needs to get out in this world, people can't get that shit done. And, you know, you got, you got to see why why the world doesn't believe in all this stuff. Because, because you got to understand, what, what does the world feed them? You know, you got to look at TV, man. You got to look at television. You got to look at YouTube. You got to look at online you got to look at what's feeding people's minds the ma the, the majority is, is is what they following you know they they following nothing but a bunch of junk man they not following real knowledge of god man they following a bunch of junk and that's why these motherfuckers be so deceived down here and that's why you see communities all wasted and shit and why the world is the way it is because they getting fed a bunch of junk in their mind and they, they believe in a bunch of junk before they believe in all this spiritual shit of God, you know, before they, and, and, and it's sad because, you know, the spiritual shit of God is not actually coming at them, it's to set them free. The truth is to set you free, it ain't to come at you and do what they think it's to do, the truth is is, is, is to set you free. And that's why, why they, they killed Jesus, man, because Jesus, they didn't want to get set free. They didn't want Jesus setting them free because they were jealous, they hated Jesus. They don't understand Jesus, and they they didn't want Jesus to set them free. If they would have gave Jesus time to set them free, and, and 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 to like that's like that's like me trying to explain something to someone to to to, to clear it up, and they don't give me the chance to clear it up. They don't give me a chance to clear it up to them. That's now they can't get set free from that situation because they're not allowing me to clear shit up. They didn't allow Jesus to clear shit up, and by you being bitter rejecting, you know, being just mental freaks, you know, it's it's hard for you to really, you know, be set free because you're rejecting getting set free. You're rejecting the blessing. You're rejecting heaven. You're rejecting the Holy Ghost. And you can't reject the Holy Ghost like that. And that, that's that's the sad part about it is people still going to reject the Holy Ghost like that. You can't do that shit. 
And that's the sad honest truth about it. So, with this being said, man, this was a good message. And I'm going to continue to speak more truth about this stuff, about topics like this, because, because I have nothing really to do other than, you know, think about my mind, think about where, where I'm headed in life and everything and what I want to do, you know. And I got to just let myself be free and speak like this because, you know, it's, it's what's good, you know, to spread knowledge and to spread this knowledge of God and to clarify shit because, you know, truth ain't nothing but clarifying shit. Truth, speaking truth ain't nothing but giving someone a chance to, you know, clarify a, a, a topic and, and get people understanding, you know. And when you don't give someone a, a chance to understand and, and, and to clarify something, that's when the issue doesn't get resolved and the issue stays lasting because you're not allowing me to give the chance to clarify something to you. And that's what the truth does. The truth clarifies shit. And you're not giving me an opportunity to clarify it. So that's that's the issue. And that's 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 doing someone dirty when... When, when you look down on them because of such and such, and that's what caused the issue. And this this message should set a lot of people free. Like, if, if a lot of people literally listen to this message, this could set a lot of people free right here because this is this is knowledge. This is true. You just got to understand it. And if you don't understand something, you know, it shouldn't be, oh, you have to go against God and be all bitter and shit. No, you shouldn't have to be like that, you know. You see what happened to Jesus and the story of Jesus just should... Just that should set people free, me even mentioning that, because it makes sense that, you know, it makes sense that I mention it like that, you know, because, and, and bring it in this discussion, because, you know, everybody knows Jesus was done dirty, like, come on, man, that's common sense, but you see how the knowledge is trying to get destroyed out of this earth, and that's what the devil wants, the devil wants the knowledge to get out of this earth, and you gotta see why the world makes the devil look bad, because, because the devil wants to be God. You know, the devil wants to be God, so the devil's trying to look bad. The devil's trying to look sexy and hot. He doesn't want God looking sexy and hot. And you see how the devil is destroying knowledge out this earth, man. And it's sad because I have to be up here and speak truth like this. But, you know, it's a blessing for me to be one of these soldiers out here that's able to do it, man. It's a blessing. And it's it's I'm very thankful to be one of these soldiers out here for God. And one of these angel light workers for you, God. So... With this being said, man, I don't know if there's anything else I can say, but with this being said, peace out, much love, amen.